Hi, this is Geert Jorn from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to get started with Scala in NetBeans IDE 801. In the terminal window, when I type Scala hyphen version, I can see that I have Scala installed on my system, the latest version 2.11.4. In addition, I've gone to the plugin manager and I went to the available plugins tab. I checked for newest and then I found a long list of modules here that had Scala in its title. And right now you can see when I search for them, none of them are here. Instead, because I went through the installation process by clicking the install button after selecting the ones that I wanted, I can see when I go to the install tab that there's a long list of Scala modules available. These were all in the available plugins tab. I selected all of them, I clicked install, and now they're all visible here in the install tab. So I am now ready to start using Scala in NetBeans. The first thing that you'll typically want to do is go to the Scala category and you see here three projects. Now these projects are Ant-based Scala projects. You're recommended to not use these. In the next version of the Scala plugin, they'll be removed because they are no longer being supported. Instead, what you want to do is create a Maven-based Scala project. You can go to Project from Archetype, you can click Next, you can type Scala, and you'll see a whole range of different archetypes which are Maven-based Scala projects. I'll choose this one. This is a really nice one to get started with. Maven Archetype Scala Executable. Creates executable Scala project that is ready to run with Java Jar. It's, it's available in the online Maven repo. We click Next and we can download it here. So we say simple Scala. So this is a simple Scala application as a starting point. It's downloaded from the online repo and here it is. Now what do we see here? We have a Scala file, we have a test file, we have a Scala library, we have the jar, and we have some test dependencies. We go into the POM and the first thing we notice when we press control and space in the version element of the Scala library that there are newer versions of the library. So let's take the most recent one, 2.11.4 which is already in my repo. Um, if it's not in your repo, you see an error message here and you can right click and choose build and the application will be built. And in addition, the jar that you've specified here will be downloaded from the online repo and put into your local repo. When the build succeeds, you can open your Scala file and you see a hello world message here and the main method. You right click on Simple Scala, you choose Run, and you can see that there's no main class found. That's not a problem. You can right click on the App Scala file and choose Run File. And you can see we have a Hello World message. That's it. Very easy to get started with Scala in NetBeans when you know these first basic steps. From here, you can continue your Scala development work. Thanks and have fun with NetBeans and Scala and Maven.